Hello guys, welcome to Metten. In this video, we are going to discuss about fascia transversalis. What is fascia transversalis? Fascia transversalis is a thin layer of fascia that lines the inner surface of the transversus abdominis muscle. Thin fascia which lies the transverse inner surface of the inner surface of the transversus abdominis muscle. What is its extent? Superiorly, it, it is continuous. I will use a different color now. So, we are discussing about its extent. Superiorly, it is continuous with the similar layer lining the inferior aspect of the diaphragm, which is nothing but as the diaphragmatic fascia, right? So, the diaphragmatic fascia which will continue in the inner lining to continue as the uh, fascia transversalis. So, anteriorly, it extends to the linea alba to which it becomes adherent and posteriorly it becomes continuous with the anterior layer of the thoracolumbar fascia. So what happens is superiorly it is continuous, continuous from the diaphragmatic fascia, diaphragmatic fascia and anteriorly it is adherent to the linea alba to the linea alba and then it is loose to the anterior layer of thoracolumbar fascia thoracolumbar fascia so these are the extent of the fascia transversalis now talking about the important features first i'll draw the fascia to show you i'm drawing the lateral end of the hip bone the iliac crest and the hip bone I am going to name everything above this is the diaphragm diaphragm this is the iliac crest this is the pelvic floor So what happens is this is the diaphragmatic, diaphragmatic fascia which lines the, below the diaphragm and to the abdominal wall it forms the fascia transversalis and here it forms the fascia iliaca and in the pelvis it forms the pelvic fascia. So this one's the diaphragmatic fascia, this one's the fascia transversalis, this lining, fascia transversalis. This one's found the fascia iliaca, above the iliacus, and this one's the pelvic fascia. So, this is how the fascia line the inner lining of the abdominal cavity. Coming to the deep arteries and deep nerves of the anterior abdominal wall. Firstly, we will discuss about the deep nerves. Deep nerves of the anterior abdominal wall so what are all the deep nerves of the anterior abdominal wall first we have is the lower five intercostals lower five intercostals what is the root wall of lower five intercostals t7 to t11 and they have motor branches to the internal oblique external oblique transverse abdominus and rectus abdominus the motor branches of these five nerves will supply the internal oblique external oblique transverse abdominus and the rectus abdominus and they have cutaneous branches to the anterior and lateral side of the abdomen the second deep nerve is the subcostal nerve the, it has a root value of t12 it supplies it has a motor branch to the pyramidalis muscle and it has cutaneous branches to the anterior and lateral side. The third nerve, deep nerve is the iliohypogastric. Iliohypogastric. Root value is the L1 and it supplies the motor branches of internal oblique and transverse abdominus. And same it has cutaneous branches to the anterior and lateral side of the abdomen. The fourth nerve is the iliohypogastric 
inguinal nerve which has the root value of L1 and it supplies the internal oblique and transverse abdominus motor branches and the cutaneous branch it has only anterior one not the lateral one. So these are the deep nerves of the anterior abdominal wall coming to deep arteries of the anterior abdominal wall. Deep arteries of the anterior abdominal wall. So what are the deep arteries? The first one is the superior epigastric artery. Superior epigastric artery. Second one is the inferior epigastric artery. Third one is the musculophrenic artery musculophrenic artery the last one is the deep circumflex iliac artery deep circumflex iliac artery so these are the four deep arteries of the anterior abdominal wall superior epigastric artery it is a branch of internal thoracic artery internal thoracic artery yeah, superior epigastric artery is a branch of internal thoracic artery and also the musculophrenic artery these both are the branches of internal thoracic artery and inferior epigastric artery it arises from the external iliac artery external you need to know what are the branches external iliac artery and the deep circumflex artery will also come from the lower end of external iliac artery so these two are the branches of external iliac artery, superior epigastric and the musculophrenic artery are the branches of internal thoracic arteries. So this is about the deep arteries of the anterior abdominal wall. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching the whole video. If you like the video, make sure to subscribe and share it to your friends. Thank you so much.